We should be coming in last. We're dislodging action for Assange, which is uh, hosting the William Binney uh, MMA that uh, he did on uh, on Reddit conspiracy forum. And we should be coming in. There we are. Sorry, action for Assange, and apologies to William Binney that we're dislodging his uh, A Ask Me Anything AMA that he was doing on the conspiracy subreddits uh, because he was censored off the Ask Me Anything <laughs> subreddit, main Reddit uh, subreddit on uh, Reddit, right? Uncharted Days, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you very much. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, also, today is Saturday, August 29th, 2020, and we're doing a comic book reading. And today, we're not doing a poll system where we're going to choose what to read. Today, we're going to read this book. That's so Julian. And this is uh, part of the care package that came my way uh, from Ripper. And it's found its way to us from Portugal. And I'm going to provide a link here to the people on chat that are going to be coming. Boop, let me post this. And you can read this comic book for free. Okay, the artist who is uh, the name here, Angela Gaitan. He's made this comic book available to be read for free, or you can order your own copy from that link I provided. And the link will be in the description of this video because this video is gonna be loaded on both BitChute and YouTube. Okay, and we're gonna have a read through it. It's sort of a, uh, we got this comic book haul as a care package in the last comic book haul video that we uploaded to BitChute and YouTube. And, um, we didn't have a read through it, but I flipped through it and it's sort of a parody uh, humor regarding Julian Assange, uh, Assange's time in the Ecuadorian embassy uh, when, where he was basically imprisoned. He was uh, he couldn't leave the Ecuadorian embassy because the UK police were going to arrest them and he was most likely be extradited Speedy Gonzalez style to the United States. Right. So uh, this is sort of a parody on his time in the Ecuadorian embassy up to the point where he got extracted out by the UK police. Envious, how are you doing? Hello, gang. Hello, Chicho, my friend. Interesting comic. Interesting comic. And just so you know, okay, when we opened up this par uh, care package, I was, I was dumbfounded. I was very happy to have this, by the way. Um, and... Uh, I let Ripper know, thank you, you know, we thanked them for sending this to us. And I contacted the creator of this comic book and I ordered three more copies for myself. Okay. I don't know how many he's printed. And as far as I know, this is the first uh, or the only, I don't know if it's the only, I, I really don't know. I, I'll be amazed if other comic books haven't come out regarding Julian Assange. They just haven't made my radar yet. So I ordered three more copies for myself okay so you can definitely support the creator of this comic book i'll provide a link again because i know people are coming in slowly this book is available to be ordered and to be read for free on that website on the creator's website okay on charter days i think it would be uh, cool to do a stream once a month talking about comic releases and what in what is comics uh, are coming up i think it would be but there's so much. One thing I could do on Charter Days, uh, since you brought this up and I thought about doing this, is flipping through the previews catalog that I pick up every month to place my orders with my local comic shop because I have a pull list there, right? So we could do that. Um, just do a flip through previews and take a look at what there is. But there's so much. It would be like a few hour <laughs> flip through live stream free assange as elder god said right 
as elder god said and while we wait for people to roll in we're going to wait about 10 minutes uh 15 minutes or so for people to roll in as notifications goes out sometimes i know they're late uh let me tell you who i am where you can find what it is that we are doing i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to follow this project everything is creative commons i don't put anything behind paywalls okay so you can follow the work and if you do like what it is that we are doing patreon is a great way to support this project and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support it is greatly appreciated we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live chycho L I V E. If you want to participate in these live streams in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Okay. On Charter Days, that would be cool. It would be nice to see what the community thinks about uh, is coming out. It would be cool. I mean, I do love flipping through uh, previews, the order form, that's for sure. And uh, what I do uh, when I flip through the previews, I pull out uh, pages things that i want to order and then i go to my local comic shop once a month and i say i go once every wednesday but once a month i go there to give them the pages to say can you order this for me can you order this for me can you order this for me okay well what we could do we could try at least one anyway see how long it takes us to flip through it i don't think we could flip through the whole thing it, it's huge it's like this thick right have you seen that uh ditko documentary i posted i i saw the link to the documentary i haven't watched the documentary yet bureaucracy kills it upsets me knowing how broke he was after creating such big yeah i've seen i don't know if it's actually the same documentary i've seen before i've seen other short documentaries on steve ditko and how marvel treated him and how stanley treated him and uh how he became a recluse like he he didn't give interviews he it was unfortunate seeing that 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 was his demeanor as well by the way right knights of old comic julian assange comic book indeed young polacks how are you doing hey chicho hey chat look at that a chicho stream for my birthday zare happy birthday happy birthday what are you you're no you're not a leo what's after leo uh, rest in peace chadwick bosman yeah for sure uh, very unfortunate very unfortunate he died of from what we know is died of uh, and he's uh, the actor for black panther and he died of colon cancer he was fighting for i believe it was four or five years uh, very unfortunate thanks zara says happy birthday virgo like me virgo virgo leo, leo and then virgo okay cool 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 happy birthday man hope you enjoy some comic book readings uh aside from twitch gang we are on elo vk parlor gab minds and twitter for now and we don't announce these live streams on all of those platforms 30 minutes before we go live as well as sharing some additional content pics behind the scenes stuff recommendations okay so if you want to follow this work see what we're up to those platforms are also a great way uh, to follow this work for a lot of live streams when we don't have visuals being presented where they're open discussions we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and the audio will be available in podcast format and it should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and this video will be uploaded to youtube and bitshoot okay and if you want to support this work you can follow you can share you can comment uh, you can turn on notifications and if you are on youtube you can join youtube membership okay ding bobby chicho i am on the moon today in such a great mood awesome listening to all sorts of music with my awesome headphones and amp my mood is making the music sound brand new awesome ding bobber glad to hear that envious by the way do you have to post your updates on every site like elo by hand yeah envious i do that or do you have a 
program which is able to post on all these sites at the same time future uh, I do it all manually okay it's part of my whole decentralization thing so you know there, there's a little bit amount of work that goes on in the background and when I share pictures I upload the pictures manually to all the different platforms um, I've sort of automated it for me I sort of kick it into neutral uh, sometimes I have a 420 session and just do what I need to do right it's a peace of mind uh, knowing that everything's not centralized okay uh, okay that's quite a bit of work right uh, considering uh, the amount of content we're sharing and how much I do create uh, every little bit adds up right every little bit adds up oh my god that would be a hacking protocol bureaucracy kill chicho why don't you have your own website I used to have my own website I'm going through block spot I used to have my own website uh, two iterations of it what you're seeing on Blockspot is the third iteration and um, our website got hacked uh, and then I couldn't get it back with the with the platform websiting whoever we were hosting with and it was costing me money every month right so to reduce my expenses and reduce the hassle of having to maintain a website manually with all the changes being taken place I just decided to go to on Blockspot once I get enough funding right uh, and we kick this into another stage we will have our own website there's absolutely no doubt about that and we will have a website for 20 for 20 math as well as math in real life as well as chicho of course everything under the umbrella chicho but that's gonna have to wait until uh, we start generating a little bit more income so i don't have to worry about the money aspect of it right great lasagna hello chicho how are you doing today brother doing well man thank you very much we're going to do a comic book reading let me take let me take these guys down and we're going to do a comic book reading tomorrow as well nice oh shit i have not did it yeah go to block spot just go, if you type in chicho www.chicho.com or chicho.com it'll take you to my block spot page and I have a lot of content being shared there and I went on Blockspot I believe in 2011 before that I create I had my own website beginning in 2005 right and then after a couple of years we did a Drupal website a friend of mine was doing all the all the stuff Drupal oh my god so much work uh, she put in a lot of work a lot of work so we had a Drupal website and then that got nuked so we just went on block spots uh, and i had to reload everything on there oh man it was a lot of work oh it was a lot of work so it's not up to date then uh, ba -ba -ba. well I, my block spot page i announce everything i announce not everything but you know when all the videos i'm uploading to youtube and bitshoot and certain content that we're sharing I do post them on Blogspot you for sure I'm still active on Blogspot like every time I do my schedule I announce it on Blogspot upload a video I announce it on Blogspot right imagine hacking a website people are sad they're, they're sad right like it's it's like they're they're weak right they don't have the cojones to go after what really matters the big fish right they're they're little people feeding the bottom feeders right it is what it is hey chicho flame how are you doing hope you're doing well matty's how's life hey chicho haven't been able to catch your streams in a very long time hope all is well doing well thank you very much matty's we're doing comic book street a comic book reading today and tomorrow weekend of comic books Woo -hoo. i have an associate that could help followage maddie's i'm not sure what that command would be <laughs> what should we do gang let's see let's see how's our how's our notifications we have we have a handful of people i'm assuming notifications maybe haven't gone out um, it would uh show how long you're 
uh, your follow to the channel oh that's what it would be it would show how long your follow to the channel oh. I guess that would be a, another command would do Gina how you doing how's life hope you're doing well check this out I spent like five ten minutes just looking at the cover of this thing I put it in mylar I think this is precious <laughs> I ordered three more copies of this for myself I am a comic book collector after all and comic books I consider to be human artifacts uh, historical artifacts very very important and very important very important I was reading an article that was about Assange by uh, yeah Caitlin Johnson is a fantastic uh, writer straight up if I was still writing articles my articles would be in the same sort of manner as Caitlin's hard straight no mercy uh, lots of data lots of links I like her articles it's a beautiful cover and yes I agree hey man how many comic books do you own in total oh Eagles I have no idea I don't know a few thousand for sure like we know that for sure a few thousand right I've been collecting for 30 years is that related to uh, Julian Assange Julian Assange yes the L is right beside the K so it's Julian Assange Gina for sure yeah it's about Julian Assange is a parody Julian Assange's uh, experience held up in the Ecuadorian embassy and here's the link to the person that's created this uh, comic book and you can read it for free online and you can order the comic from that link okay I ordered three extra copies for myself two days ago okay when I set up the live streams I ordered two more co three more copies for myself okay <laughs> and he's charging the person that's made this his name is uh, right here Angelo uh, Guten I guess and uh, he's only charging six dollars for Canadian and US uh, it's four dollars for the book and two dollars for shipping six dollars it's not bad it fantastic right she did an article about the lesser of the evils myth which I thought was yeah yeah Caitlin goes all the way right and forget about lesser of two evils lesser of two evils is evil <laughs> elder God says nice I will get one for sure I don't know how many he printed gang okay I really don't know how many you printed I'm assuming he would he might sell out so is this as far as investing goes is this a good investment for me it is I consider this to be an extremely extremely important historical comic book huge huge considering who Julian Assange is and it's uh, might come to light uh, sooner rather than later the significance of Julian Assange to the general public but we'll talk about that not that the Chicho gang is after it the comic will be sold out in no time I'm hoping it so sells out a cultural investment in freedom a cultural investment in freedom indeed I would pick up a copy or two but I live in the UK so don't know if they ship world on charter days this came to me from Portugal right and I believe I don't know if the artist is in Portugal I think he's in Portugal so it came to me from Europe so the UK people European people it's easier for you to get this uh, faster for you to get this than it is for us living in Canada United States okay he is stationed in Portugal this came to me from Portugal and the three that I ordered are coming to me from Portugal oh so they might send it uh, to Germany he will send it to Germany I'm very positive about that initially he was sending it to me he forgot to put Canada on the on the envelope and it went to France and we couldn't track it and then 
it went back to him because they couldn't find where it was and then he put canada and it made its way to me even better I have friends in portugal awesome elder god yeah gang should we do the reading let's do the reading it might be a quick reading gang uh just so you know because uh it's it's a short comic okay uh, but we're gonna however long it takes us we're gonna enjoy the read oh wow i thought it came from Canada. no no from portugal to me and ripper was the one that sent it to us and if you want to see the comic book haul the care package it's in the last comic book haul video that we uploaded i think it's comic book haul number 34 yeah there's a lot of comic books all over the world uh, i mean majority are coming out of the united states there's no doubt about that uh, and shipping is insane but uh, if there are amazing comic books to be had uh, in other parts of the world might as well have them might as well have them all right gang i'm going to turn off notifications i'm going to turn off the chat i'm going to turn knock out this vid the video of me we can have a short discussion about it after we can have a short discussion about it after for sure so after the reading gang i'm going to come back and we can talk about the comic book and whatnot i'm pretty sure we'll have time left over 100 percent okay so i'm going to turn off chat right now i'm going to turn off notifications let's go let's go chat off i'm going to turn off my video and we're going to do a reading of that's so julian okay how are we doing for time we're doing good for time we're 22 minutes in nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading and we are live streaming this as well on twitch and for today's reading we're going to read a comic book that came to me through a care package that uh, i showed you guys and i believe it was comic book haul number 34 that we've done it's the previous comic book haul to this reading where um, ripper ripper thank you very much for thinking of me when you came across this and uh, getting the creator of this comic book which is by angela uh, guyton okay and this comic book came to me from portugal and ripper came across this comic book and got uh, ordered the comic book for me and uh, after a little bit of turbulence uh, getting lost in the mail and going to the wrong country it finally made its way to me in canada and i'm very happy to have it and i will have the link uh, of the website where this comic book is available to be ordered and where you can read this comic book for free because angelo has allowed people to read this comic book for free and i have contacted him and he knows that we're going to be doing this reading and he was extremely excited about it as i am and the link will be in the description of the video and if you want to order a copy of this comic book for yourself because as far as i'm concerned one of the reasons i got into comic book collecting was because i consider comic books to be an amazing amazing uh artifacts of human culture human history right of what we've been through and what we are going through and considering that this comic book is about julian assange who many many people consider to be one of the most important uh journalists ever really who has created who created really one of the most important websites online with wikileaks right so julian assange that this comic book is about is the creator of wikileaks and wikileaks is a website where whistleblowers can share information regarding power right and it was established by julian assange to provide transparency of capital as power and to provide accountability of capital as power incredibly important and we have done a fair bit of discussion regarding julian assange and what has taken place with him and why the united states is trying to get their 
hands on Julian Assange and what the implications of the persecution, the crucifixion of Julian Assange means to our society, right? And I was extremely happy to get my hands on this and I've ordered three extra copies of this book for myself, right? Being a comic book collector, I want to make sure that this comic book is preserved. Being someone who invests in comic books, I think it is an extremely important investment. I'm not sure if you consider monetary investment, but once history is written, right? Because we're going through it right now. Julian Assange will be considered to be one of the most important political historical figures of our time okay extremely extremely important on the same level as Malcolm X on the same level as Martin Luther King okay on the same level as Muhammad Ali as on the same level as many of the great great people that stood up against power and demanded accountability of transparency of power okay that's the intro to this comic and who Julian Assange is as for what the story of this comic is it's a parody more of a humor comic book of Julian Assange's time held up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London while the United States was trying to get their hands on him to extradite him right and when we did the care package of this when uh, in the previous comic book haul video we didn't read this and i didn't read this we read a couple of like panels just to get a feel for it um, so i'm very excited uh to do the reading for this okay and yesterday getting prepared uh for this comic book uh reading I spent like 10 minutes just looking at the cover because the cover is absolutely brilliant. So let me take this out of its mylar so we lose the reflections here. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of other little trinkets that the creator of this comic book sent to me. Okay. And we looked at those during the comic book haul video. And I did put this in mylar because. I consider this to be an extremely important comic book and if you want to get your hands on this comic book uh, I would recommend ordering this sooner rather than later because since it's an independent comic book being self-published I doubt very much there are very many copies of this available okay and the link again will be in the description of this video and the comic book again is called that's so julian okay and it's by angela guyton okay and what you see here the image that we're witnessing here is julian assange standing on the sort of a balcony it wasn't really a balcony it was very small um, i forget what the word is where it's not very really a balcony is where you can put little flower pots and stuff standing there outside the, the on the balcony from the Ecuadorian embassy and giving press conferences and speeches and you can see the cameras here which was I believe that corner of the world was one of the most surveillance surveyed corners in the world while julian assange was there the uk police the london police were spending millions of dollars a year with police officers surrounding the area with surveillance being done making sure that julian assange was not able to escape the uk right the cctv okay in london and that's what those represents are insane you are tracked and monitored everywhere and this was one of the most monitored corners in the world right and it is a brilliant cover 
really because what you see here is you got the cctv stuff going you got julian assange in the balcony you have mass media listening to every word that julian has to say and julian assange is a creator of wikileaks right extremely extremely important website and we've talked a lot about this right so all the mass media mainstream corporate media and a lot of independent media way more independent media than corporate media was paying attention to what julian assange had to say and julian assange had a sort of a talk show uh, where they had i believe six or nine episodes where we got they got together with a lot of people that were from the hacking community from the journalistic community a lot of philosophers a lot of people that were involved in technology and talked about what's going on in the world and what's going to happen with our societies if we're not careful right the next layer to this cover page you see the anonymous mask this is v for vendetta by the way the mask that you see here where everybody's holding up their signs saying i am julian i am julian i am julian i am julian right extremely important the people who understand what the attack on julian assange and wikileaks means holding up signs saying that we are julian because we are julian assange and wikileaks right the next layer to this you see here with some of the people that really don't understand with this person here what is at stake asking right so who is this guy again right and someone who knows what it means for Julian Assange to be crucified right to be extradited to the United States begins to answer the question saying he's but this person who is a pretender really and there are many of these types of people around in our societies one of these pretenders saying never mind i have to stop procrastinating right to me this cover says a lot because i've come across people like this i'm not sure if that's the intention of the artist right that put this cover together but i've come across a lot of people like this who consider julian assange either to be a villain or no one important who have never gone to read any of the leaks or any of the announcements on wikileaks who are basically for lack of a better word npcs non-player characters who really are not free thinking but they are just pawns of corporate power right who don't understand what is at stake when witnessing the persecution of julian assange right brilliant cover i really like this okay it says a lot in a cartoonish style very much reminiscent of some of the greatest comic book artists out there right may it be joe sacco may it be will eisner okay that do commentary of our societies by one image free julian and that's julian assange when he didn't have a beard when he wasn't held up at the ecuadorian embassy and with his beard All right let's have a read through this and someone on chat envious on chat is mentioning that it's a great use of color and it is it is beautiful nice someone else is mentioning bureaucracy kills and he that he just bought two copies i'm telling you if you want to get your copies get your copies and the link will be in the description of this video if people on live stream have not bought all the copies yet and if they have we're going to do a reading of it right now 
hopefully the artist will create a second printing and he does have the comic book available to be read for free okay let's have a read through that's so julian On Sunday in London at the Ecuadorian Embassy. Ah, come on, guys, give me a break. <laughs> and that's Julian. And we saw this panel doing the, the unboxing, I guess, right? And you see the security guards playing cards, right? Ah, oh, come on, guys, give me a break. What's the Wi Fi password? You know, L Y 5 O pass <laughs> Wi Fi O password. Oh, sorry, L pass L pass Eduardo. Hola, this isn't fair, you guys. Julian is begging, begging for the Wi Fi password. And this is in reference to when there was new elections in the Equ in Ecuador with the new Ecuadorian president coming into power and he was just a puppet of Western corporate power of Europe, UK and specifically the United States and the IMF, right? They cut off Julian Assange's access to the Internet. This isn't fair, you guys, Julian says. Okay, well, you tell me. You tell me if I guess it. Is it Chimichanga? One? Chimichanga? Two? <laughs> Julian says. <laughs> No creo que esa huevo sabe español. I don't speak Spanish. Hopefully, I pronounced those right. Chimichangas are Mexican, Julian, one of the guards says. <laughs> don't you think I know that? I'll never let on the depths of my knowledge. So let's see what Julian's thinking. what's quintessentially ecuadorian maybe it's Sar sargento under underscore pen pengio pengio is that ecuadorian <laughs> i guess it is because the <laughs> because the security card is chasing them then Julian's got access to the internet and he's happy as F. Right? Yeah. Mm. Right. He's got access to the internet. And these security guards during that period, right, that were supposed to be protecting the Ecuadorian embassy were actually bought out by the CIA and they were spying on Julian Assange that is the absurdity of it all and these Ecuadorian the security company was based in Spain and they were going through litigation as uh, to what they did right let's check it out back at Julian's room Julian buddy can I come in knock knock And this is the Ecuadorian president, I believe, that allowed UK police to come into Ecuadorian embassy, right? To come, in, come into sovereign territory to pull Julian Assange out of the Ecuadorian embassy. And 
when he did that he was able to get a four billion dollar loan approved by the IMF basically he sold out the Ecuadorian people for four billion dollars by handing over Julian Assange right so let's check this out Julian buddy Doop. let's check it out can I come in knock knock he says or knock knock the sound effects say whatever it's a free embassy Julian says ah that's cool he's got a little, little skateboard there he's got a little sandals there All right, check it out Vector told me you think we're being unfair. He says, he asks Julian. And someone on chat is mentioning that pendejo means son of a bitch <laughs> funny let's check it out let's check out the discussion he also said you've been sneaking around spying on him and the other guards is that right what else are what else are james and I supposed to do around here, Julian says. Ah, oh, the cat's name was James. I didn't know that. The cat's name is James. It's got a little tie on. <laughs> awesome. things you learn eh? things you learn also also you know I'm missing let's check it out you know I'm missing Game of Thrones and Hector and those guys spoil everything I've talked to my friend Brian and he says it's just not right it just isn't There's Julian. Brian Eno. Ah, that's what he's saying. Brian Eno Yoko Uno. Right. Let's see what Brian Eno has to say. yes i'm very concerned about julian he hasn't done any shit posting for a very long time he hasn't even liked uh, my new album yoko and i are beside ourselves brian eno says now brian eno is huge in the music industry right he did a lot of uh, soundtracks and stuff like this and yoko ono free julian assange anon anon <laughs> Da, 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 da. And Yoko Ono is uh, the ex-wife. Ah, Free Julian. Ah, na, 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 na. Yoko Ono is the former wife or wife of uh, John Lennon, right? <laughs> Look at this page. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Check it out. <laughs> Do you think 
you can you can be more responsible than last time <laughs> it's just supposed to be last time <laughs> I don't know what that says. Sits jutes uh, don jutat mengan fed do penjat. I don't know what that is. My pronunciation of these are Spanish words. I have no idea. Fut barca Collins reno. Oh my God! I'm brutalizing the Spanish here. My apologies, gang. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Other concepts. I think that Koju Kojudo thinks he knows uh, Catalan. Oh, as a Catalan, maybe we should stop him. One of the security guards says. At least his heart is in the right place. Indeed, indeed. Oh, there's a translation down here. Let's read the translation. 16 judges of a court here <laughs> ear liver of a hanging whip foot barca collins reno <laughs> so it's, he's not really making any sense possibly meaning barcelona oh barcelona that's what he's saying is it funny look at julian If Julian actually pulled these kinds of antics, he would have maybe had more support with this crowd that doesn't understand what is at stake, right? Or that other time. Let's see what he did the other time. Look at Julian. <laughs> happy, happy behind the computer online. It wasn't the Russians who poisoned the double agent in Salisbury Yard. It was Professor Plum in the library with a candlestick. Provocative. And this part obviously is humor, parody. And that part is 100% true, most likely, right? Or should we say maybe true? We'll use Robert Anton Wilson's maybe logic, right? And don't even get me started on her emails and her, I'm assuming they mean Hillary Clinton. So if we are able to go on the internet what is it that we need to do don't interfere in foreign relations <laughs> i love it that is too funny too funny too funny a little louder bud he asks don't interfere in foreign relations. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Great. And clear your, clean your room. He rolls out saying, while in the background, he knows exactly what he's going to do. He's going to sell out Julian Assange for billions of dollars and loans from the IMF, which they're going to pocket, right? And the bill for the Ecuadorian people are going to get, right? So basically completely impoverishing Ecuador. Crazy, crazy. afterwards check this out this is like mad magazine format of humor fantastic 
political satire at its best made the floor recognize the great and honorable sir james bang 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 of kensington bang 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 sir james kensington let's see sir james of kensington let's see what this is all about bang 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 he's going down the hallway bang 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 right. chancellor of x x checker x checker Check out the kitty cat. Check out the kitty cat. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Walking along, right? Ends up cleaning himself. Mr. James. And James is the cat, right? He's having Julian Assange is just playing with the cats, right? Kitty cat. He was a cute cat. Or he is a cute cat. As far as I know, he's still alive. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, there's a cat's tail right there too. Check it out. day let's see what happens sneaking look at this Julian Assange is listening in All right let's see what they have to say the next day Signor Presidente now he wants us to bow to the cat and dry clean its little neckties why the guy says right That's one of the guards. Julian's listening in. He insists we treat his finan financial manager with more respect. And the feces on the walls is just feces on the walls, question mark. Right? He's asking the president. Now, the feces on the walls was absolute lies that the corporate propagandists were disseminating right so there's a lot of uh, little insider things here never mind all that Julian walks in yelling my rights and freedoms are being violated incessantly by you and your goons and they were I'm going to petition the UN good good right Julian says free Julian and no 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 that's the you going on <laughs> funny funny let's check it out it's okay Hector you can let him go all right calm down Julian I'm not unreasonable I'm willing to work with you he says did you clean your room he asks Julian's like yes look at the kitty cat okay the Wi-Fi password is Honisat. No, what is that? John is a Targaryen. Oh no! Spoilers! Look at the guy. Totally gives away the spoilers for Game of Thrones. John is a Targaryen. Ah, oh, look at this. 
It's not enough there. Violating Julian Assange's human rights and imprisoning him and basically torturing him according to the UN repertoire on torture, right? And violating his privacy and spying on him and going through his mail, his email, and preventing him from going online, right? They're also spoiling Game of, Fo Game of Thrones for him. Right? Nasty people, but for four billion dollars. Right? Oh, you got a cake. Look at this. Later. Na 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 na. You say it's your birthday. Julian says, "Well, it's my birthday, too." Yeah, Ooh, Julian Assange's birthday. I actually don't know when his birthday is. Gas. Oh, what did Julian see? Gold. Look at this guy, fat cat. Right, fat cat right selling the selling out the Ecuadorian people selling out Julian Assange selling out human rights for lobster and cake and whatever he's into right go look at that look at that He's watching soccer. Julian, come in. Is that for me? He asks. I was just enjoying some football and lobster on my special day. Nothing wrong with that, he says. Huh? Nothing wrong with that. I came by to give you this, Julian says. Look at that, a little cupcake. James donated the last of his uh, chant Chantilly cream to make it. Chantilly cream, I don't know what that is, but James is a kitty cat. Click, turn something off or on, right? what for my scrapbook oh he took a picture oh look at that he took a picture of him lying on the bed right lying on the bed watching soccer eating lobster in a compromising position so someone's mentioning that chantilly cream is whipping cream cool then check it out julian's online kitty cats looking at something can we make out what julian's writing uploading oh julian's uploading something you got access to the internet right cool Kitty cat looks at Julian, looks at the little gadget. Oh, that's got to be Julian's phone. That's right. That's got to be Julian's phone. And the kitty cat tweets something, right? Oh, what did Julian tweet? He was tweeting some very important stuff Julian was before he was completely cut off the internet and pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy right oh I wonder if it's the picture was there an actual picture of the president of Ecuador in a compromising position 
maybe it was the four billion dollar deal right Julia so kitty cat Julia's kitty cat tweeted out something compromising maybe maybe compromising to foreign leaders right green light and there's all the police right all the police outside the Ecuadorian embassy wasting millions of dollars right millions of UK tax dollars because Julian Assange as someone mentioned mentioned exposing corruption right exposing corruption beautiful comic book I like it I like it the end and this is the scene where they pulled out Julian Assange from the Ecuadorian embassy right and the only reason we got this image because Ripley a Russian uh, news agency was outside the Ecuadorian embassy right and they noticed what was going on and they captured the video and the images of Julian Assange with the UK police entering sovereign Ecuadorian land on the approval of the corrupt Ecuadorian president and government at the time to pull Julian Assange out on behest of the United States to get him extradited to the United States right for revealing war crimes and holding power accountable now this picture I don't know who that picture is who's that picture maybe someone in chat will know right and who's holding that that's Julian Assange holding that and Julian Assange was when he came out of the Ecuadorian embassy when he was pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy he was holding a book now I believe he was holding a book and mentioning to people that people should be reading this book but I can't remember who that was right this is an iconic image this image this video of Julian Assange being pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy is one of the most important images in human history in terms of politics right incredible incredible and that's the story and this was uh, here's the credits right written and drawn Boop. let's check it out come on focus away so much white right written and drawn by Angelo Gaitan edited by uh, Rodrigo Constan Constanzo and Dan Dirks cool so last tweet according to elder god in the live stream the last tweet that julian assange made was uh, a knowledgeable public is an empowered public is a free public right is that the last tweet from julian assange very cool very cool what was the back cover of this oh that's mr james look at that beautiful beautiful awesome comic very very awesome comic indeed fantastic it was a quick read short read but fantastically done really kudos to Angelo Guyton that uh, made this he made it uh, digestible for those who do not understand what is at stake ah this this that's what it is that's who it looks like gore vidal that's right that is gore vidal thank you very much zoot from live stream we get the answer gore vidal's history of 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 the national security state that is what julian assange was saying 
recommending people to read and Gore Vidal is one of the people that I've recommended multiple times for us to read that you've seen the book where um, I mentioned the book that I've read from Gore Vidal which is fantastic which is perpetual war for perpetual peace very important book to read and I've, I haven't read this one yet Gore Vidal's history of national security state I think it might be time to put that on our reading list as well right very cool very cool and thank you ripper for hooking us up for this thing and uh, for those of you who want to get a copy of this book the link will be in the description of this video gang okay and thank you for all the info for those watching live uh, providing some answers for us right fantastic what I'm going to do now is uh, just turn chat back on and I believe uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit uh, with chat and uh, see what people have to say <laughs> there were some extra goodies in this care package which was interesting one of them was related to Brad Pitt but we're gonna put this back and I'm very happy I got my extra copies of this comic very happy about it hopefully for those of you that are gonna be watching this video after it's been uploaded to the children YouTube there will be copies available for you to buy otherwise you can read it for yourself on the website and I'll provide the link here as well in chat and here's where the comic is available gang let me turn on notifications turn on chat and turn on my video where is it there it is fun read fun read very fun read very fun read I'm not knowledgeable about Julian Assange this was a very accessible and informative read indeed it was it was extremely accessible like digestible it wasn't over the top it has a lot of little nick you know little things in there for people that know what was going on right so if you know what was going on with Julian at the time and you followed the history of it um, it was very interesting the way the artist portrayed the information James best character the cat was the best character <laughs> funny funny awesome awesome yeah very enjoyable very enjoyable and we'll see where this goes uh, and just so you guys know where we are because YouTube is censoring stuff regarding Julian Assange demoting channels demoting uh, demoting uh, videos and whatnot right because I've seen it while creating Julian Assange live streams videos and stuff I've seen what happens to our website to our YouTube channel as we create that content and for a few months after that right where we're not recommended and whatnot since we haven't we stopped uploading current events streams to YouTube and if you're watching this on YouTube there will be no more political current events streams being loaded on YouTube since we stopped doing that okay talking about topics that the technocrats don't want us to talk about YouTube has been promoting our channel recommending our channel so it took us maybe about a year to get an additional 2,000 subscribers like we were losing subscribers at one time and then gaining subscribers people were um, being unsubscribed from our channel and stuff like this but during the last two months we've gained 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and that's mainly because we haven't uploaded anything political on there officially political on there even though there is overtones of how 
we believe our society should be structured right and how power should be held accountable right so we're going under the radar to a certain degree we'll see if this goes under the radar or not okay i'll keep you guys informed about it and see what happens with our subscribers because in the last month alone we've gained a thousand new subscribers on youtube we'll see if that decreases and that was a trend before we started talking about politics and Julian Assange. We were gaining anywhere between 500 to 1,000 subscribers a month on YouTube. But then we got totally kicked down, right? Lucky we didn't get deplatformed, eh? <laughs> the technocrats don't like truth to be shared. Young Polacks, he got sold out. That's the saddest part. Someone fighting for freedom. Indeed. Indeed. And Ecuador is in turmoil right now right envious no but seriously i really enjoyed it as uncharted ace uh, i am not much into the topic but this gave me a quick update in a nice way yeah i enjoyed it very much as well elder god what are bucks you ask uh this is from the website <laughs> because he's uh, the person uh, the artist selling this angelo uh, gaitan he says it costs six bucks, right? But there are a lot of people from UK, Europe, and stuff like that that will be ordering the book. But he has a little write up to it, right? What are bucks, you ask? If you live in the UK, send six pounds. If you live in the US, Canada, South America, send six dollars USD. If you live in the EU, send six euros EU, okay? If you live anywhere else, send six pounds. Or if you're going to see me or rod in person it's just four bucks and a high five awesome right for real for real okay fantastic so elder god says i counted about five hidden references in that comic awesome what were the references elder god yeah there, there was a few references of different things right and i didn't uh uh the the i didn't make the connection until i you either envious or uncharted days mentioned it exposing with the taking the picture of the ecuadorian pe uh, president eating lobster and lingerie and whatnot that was exposing power exposing truth envious yeah brilliant i didn't catch it at first it didn't register until you mentioned it. well of course exposing great 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 worse was any content during el chapo trial being loaded in youtube yeah zoot pff, crazy yo i thought you stopped streaming vocalist no i hope it didn't get cut off i can't say on here oh you can't say on here okay S uh, share share it with us on discord elder god i'd like to know i'd like to know as much as i can about this uh i found it uh, brilliant and i really don't know if there's any other comic books out there about julian assange there's definitely nothing in in this format right sort of parody comedy mad magazine type of comic book right but i really don't know if there's any uh comic books on julian assange and what took place at the ecuadorian embassy or wikileaks in that regard uh so very curious uh, fantastic read thank you for all the info gang and the multiple pairs of eyes that are looking at this right we learn a lot more we learn a lot more right should we call the stream gang let's call the stream because we're going to be back here tomorrow doing another comic book reading right we got uh, this time we we're down to four comic books we get to choose from tomorrow i believe to read right so we're going to run a poll tomorrow comic book reading from 10 a.m until 12 p.m again right so we're going to run a poll decide on a comic book and uh read that comic book right cyberpunk cheech my brother from another mother how are you doing doing good cyberpunk thank you very much read a fantastic comic book very happy very happy about it great reading thanks uh on charges and thank you angelo guten for putting this together and ripper for hooking us up 
right even the Wi-Fi password had a secret meaning beyond the obvious really elder god oh dude you gotta share you gotta share I will watch the replay awesome cyberpunk I hope you like first reports had Julian Assange leaving the Ecuadorian embassy voluntarily yeah zoot it was insane and I was you know I try to stay on top of it and as far as I'm concerned it like unbelievable unbelievable makes you question the sanity of people like this right NPCs NPCs gang thank you for being here if you want to follow this work I'm on patreon okay how long did he live in the embassy seven years envious he was in the Ecuadorian embassy seven years right and just the whole story in that seven years is insane absolutely insane yeah absolutely insane right I am on patreon if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to support this project patreon.com forward slash chicho chy cho I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike just like this comic book right that's what it's about for those of you who supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live chy chicho l i v e if you want to participate in these live streams and they're happening in the chat boop, twitch is where you want to be at okay nick how are you doing not much of a life just imagine how much you've done the last seven years of your life now imagine his indeed right i have been to the embassy uh when he was oh really i look god wow 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 it's a disgrace mick i agree i agree absolutely my life my life's 100 percent different than seven years ago yeah some would argue so is julian assange's right his health deteriorating he's being held in prison right now in the uk in a harsh prison right he's become a martyr and man what a bad decision the powers that be right capitalist power has done they've created millions of warriors that are going to make life a lot harder for those that are behind this sad story money rules the world some people's world envious i need to watch fifth state again yeah we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds VK Parlor Gab and Twitter for now. Okay. If you want to follow this work, you can follow this work on those platforms and the links will be in the description of this video. On try today, it's a disgrace that ultimately the people will have to pay for it. Yeah, and we are paying for it right now in a big way, in a big way. Right? I wish people understood that more. For streams where we have open discussions where we don't have anything visual happening we do record the audio with a lapel mic and upload the audio as podcasts on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy cho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and this video will be uploaded to youtube and as always bit shoot we'll see what happens uh this could be youtube safe uh, hopefully elder god right and i'll let you guys know what happens um, if anything happens if we get demoted through youtube for loading this onto youtube okay just watch the video name i know i'm so tempted i'm i'm gonna put that's uh that's so julian by the creator angelo gaitan i really do want to put julian assange in the description and the tags as well for people who are searching for Julian Assange to come across this but I might not put it in because I think it'll get more viewership if we don't put Julian Assange in the title or the tags right and what we really want to do tags of death tags of death what we really want to do is get more uh, more people aware of what's going on with Julian Assange and I think the comic book does a fantastic job as does our discussion right gang thanks for being here i will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m pdt our time for more comic book readings 
that's for the uh, thanks for the awesome stream man my pleasure envious great day left for everyone here yeah awesome gang i hope you have a fantastic uh saturday and uh we'll do another comic book reading tomorrow and then music on monday and then cooking on wednesday bye everyone and thank you for the info everyone and james the cat use the embassy and tag and james the cat maybe maybe bye everyone <laughs>